what we want to look at here is how to set the, the temperature of the water from the boiler. So you can see on this panel here we've got a little tap and a little radiator. If we select the tap there, you can see that that's set at 65 degrees. That's far too high for what we need in the house. So for this I'm just going to turn it down. So I'm going to set it around 55 degrees. I think if we have the water too hot, all we're going to do is add cold water to cool it back down again so it's a waste of energy. And then on the other side here we can see the little radiator, you press the button there. Again, that's 75 degrees, so that's 75 degrees that the boiler is trying to heat the radiator water to. Again, far too hot, so we turn that right down. Now, how low you can go will depend on the size of radiators you've got in the house um, and also the type of boiler you've got. So this, for example, is a modern condensing combi boiler. So any of the wasted heat gets recycled um, and then used again. So actually having it down at 50, it works very efficiently. If you've got an old boiler, then you need to keep the temperature higher. Here on the boiler, it's set to come on early in the morning and have three different time settings during the day. Now, this can be useful for somebody who's going to be out of the house a lot during the day, but how you use your timer will very much depend on how you use your home and the type of home that you have, whether it's well insulated or very leaky. If you're out all day and you have the heating on all day, you're going to lose a lot of energy, it costs a lot of money. Um, if you have an efficient home, then it's worth keeping the energy topped up to, the, to a good level all day, so maybe not using the timer, but using a thermostat instead. So here I'm going to set the timer for the boiler. So it's time programs there my heating. So I've got the option showing the day and the different time periods that it can have. So this has three different settings. But, so I'm going to just do it for the week here. I select, oops, sorry. So I've just set it for the week. Now I select the first time period when I want it to come on in the morning. So I'll just say half five there and then the next part very much depends on how you're using your house and for how long you'll be in each day. I'll set it till 8.30, might be the time we go off to work. We want it to come back on again later on in the afternoon. Been plenty of time before getting home. And I'll set that right through till later in the evening. Around bedtime. You can also set it if you'd like for a bit later on, just in case it gets a bit nippy. But coming on for an hour later. So we use the thermostat to control the internal temperature of the house. So this is the air temperature. Uh, at the moment it's set at about 18 degrees, and that's a really healthy, comfortable temperature for, for both myself and for the house itself in terms of humidity levels. Um, if I go out, I drop it down to 15 degrees, or when I go to bed as well, because it doesn't need to be quite as warm. There's no point in wasting energy like that. If you are a bit colder, you can knock it up a little bit more, but once you start going over 21 degrees, it becomes too warm um, and you start